Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we're reviewing Daredevil by Frank Miller and Claus Jansen, Volume 1. Um, Fr- Frank Miller uh, did the art for this, and Claus Jansen uh, did the inking. I don't know why they put Frank Miller and Claus Jansen. In reality, it should be Roger McKenzie, Frank Miller, and Claus Jansen. But uh, that's a small nitpick. And the reason why I mention that is like this collects the early work of uh, Frank Miller working on Daredevil. And before he started uh, doing the writing and the art, he started off just as an artist. So most of this um, collection is just... Um, is uh, Roger McKenzie doing the writing. There's like 13 issues in here. Uh, the first um, the first two issues is from uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man to be precise. Uh, where I guess like uh, Dare- Daredevil team up with Spider-Man. There's a scene where like um, sorry the issues are like Spider-Man's been blinded and Daredevil has to help him, which is, he's helping him and at the same time, uh, Daredevil doesn't know that, sorry, not Daredevil, uh, Spider-Man doesn't know that Daredevil himself is blind, so you have some cool, um, comedy there, not comedy, but like, writing, um, here's the thing about this graphic novel, or comic book, uh, <laughs> Is that um, it's kind of a mixed bag because be- until like Frank Miller starts writing and uh, drawing, which is like half more than halfway through the book, it's just random episodic stories. Like there's like one issue where he's like fighting, um, fighting uh, what's his name. <laughs> Uh, Bullseye fighting the Hulk and just it's just random stories um, not particularly that good in my opinion it's like a 5 out of 10 I would say until Frank Miller starts writing and it, it, it stops being episodic you got like a three issue arc of not three issue uh, series where like it's like like kingpin fighting a gang war between like the bosses of New York uh, and like bullseyes on their side so it like it's really cool because like you just have these scenes where like kingpin is outsmarting people yeah I didn't know that kingpin was originally a uh, spider-man villain I, I I always thought he was a daredevil thing because like a lot of the um, when, when people talk about Kingpin, they usually uh, talk about him finding the, the stories with, with him and Daredevil. So to find out that it's, you know, that was actually originally a Spider-Man villain, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, there's also some, in it, some uh, origin stories. So if you don't know uh, Daredevil's origin story... You get that in here as well as um, his first encounter with Elektra, which I'm not really a fan of Elektra's design. Well, not design. The costume's fine. I just don't like her face. She's drawn. She's drawn pretty ugly, in my opinion. But I get. I guess that's subjective. I would say this compared to the art style Frank Miller is known for. I like this art style better. It's very much. It's very cleaner. It's more like uh, crisp. Uh, people have like realistic, you know, physiques and stuff like that. Where like if you look at like Frank Miller's current art style, it, like it's very blocky. It's very rough. Um, there's a lot, a lot of mistakes, like in my opinion, like like if you compare it to like Holy Terror, which I did like Holy Terror, but it's just you know I I 
I would just say like size comparisons. There's little, there's mistakes here and there. Um, but yeah, I would say once he Frank Miller takes over, it's uh, eight out of ten. But the problem is you you're paying you do you want to pay thirty five bucks for like what is like five issues of good or maybe it's maybe it's more than five issues but it's like you know like 40 percent good uh sorry 40 percent great and then like 60 percent average at best though i do like the cameos the cameos you get like from the avengers and fantastic four and stuff like that uh it's just like dude like it's 35 bucks or 30 bucks if you're American just for like you know 40% good so I would say I, to balance it out I would have to give this graphic novel or sorry uh, collection I would say, to be fair it would be like six and a half but I'm gonna give it a seven so I think it does make up for it and if you're trying to get into Daredevil like who who do you have to go to? You have like Wade or Bennis or the old, the really old stuff, which is probably going to be worse. So I would say if you're trying to get into Daredevil, this is where this is a good spark, uh, <laughs> a good place to start. You have there's also three of these collections. I I have them all, so I'm, I'll review them um, when I get the chance. I'm probably not going to review the rest this month because I'm doing a Halloween month special, which my next review is going to be Fear Itself, Deadpool, and the Fearsome 4. I'm not going to review Fear Itself, because in my opinion it sucks. Uh, the only memorable part is when Bucky Cap dies. Uh, people don't know who Bucky Cap is. It's Bucky as Captain America. He took over when Captain America died after Civil War. Yeah, so... Also, I saw the director's cut of the Daredevil movie. It It's alright. It's not as great as people say it is, but it's probably better than the original cut. Um, yeah, I'm just... So, sorry for the short review. This is my fourth take. <laughs> and I don't like reviews where people just, like... Just, like, just tell you, like, bit by bit, like, the whole story. It's like, dude, I want to fucking read it <laughs> like I want to ex read it I want to experience it as I'm reading it. I don't, don't want to be told everything right from the bat so yeah um, again I will take um, if anybody has any like recommendations uh, for reviews I will take them uh, I might not review them this month because I have I'm trying to do Halloween related books or books that you should you know that would be good to read for this month uh, yeah so stay tuned I'm also gonna review some movies so um, subscribe if you feel like it and if you hate these reviews and you think I suck please leave some constructive criticism so I can learn and get better. All right, thanks, bye.